the most important thing in the last segment of the discussion what and how i am going to prepare myself for the final 7 days what do i mean by backlogs is not the rare syndromes that's not a backlog not the least important one that's not a backlog practice is very very important practice makes any man perfect right don't sit in the same sunday and waste the entire sunday you cannot do it split it into 6 days review the entire paper and next sunday make sure that you apply all the mistakes and improve Hello guys welcome back once again to PW Meda Guru channel and Dr Ranjit and in this video I'm going to talk about a clear road map of NEET PG which is going to supposed to be happening at June 15th thanks to NB for again creating a controversy and a stir and unhappiness amongst the aspirants that it's going to happen on June 15th and in two sessions a first and a genuine and a heartfelt advice or request to all of you guys if you are going to prepare for the exam sincerely please move away from twitter instagram where you're going to fight that whether nb is right or wrong whether the two shifts is right or wrong it's absolutely wrong there's no doubt in that am i going to get anything out of going and fighting and scolding at nb outside apart from venting out actually no it's going to waste your time so what we are going to do is let's focus on what we have in the hand things which i cannot control let it happen on its own things which i can control is what i am going to do in the next 3 months let's have a dedicated plan and a approach so that we don't waste any single moment and we'll reach the destination and come out of flying colors if you first time here click on the subscribe button let's learn medicine and pathology entirely with pw med right so first thing i am going to divide this video into multiple things first what do i do for the videos do i need to go with the regular ones rr or the live tnd and what is the deadline for me to complete if there is any backlog how many revisions i have to do what's the questions i have to do how many how much amount of time in a day i have to spend for questions grantus that's very important right how many grantus is must and what do i do for the review of grantus and the most important thing is the last segment of the discussion what and how i am going to prepare myself for the final 7 days before the exam because i've seen multiple students who done everything perfect but in last 7 days it's like a bunch of books don't know what to do panic sets in not able to perform the exam so uh, we are going to prepare ourselves for the final 7 days so that we'll go with confidence ace the exam and complete the nb at a level best right so let's go ahead so what to do for the sources so first thing if you have backlogs what do i mean by backlogs is not the rare syndromes that's not a backlog not the least important one that's not a backlog with your gt scores which you already have you know that okay dermatology i am not very good i am getting only one or two correct right orthopedics i am not getting anything correct pathology i am not getting only i am getting only half correct anything subject where you have more than 60% errors i feel that that you have to go and focus on which part of the subject is difficult which video is difficult those are the things i am going to talk as a backlog so i want you to first after this video once you complete the video take a book and write the number of videos which have a backlog that's very very important let's write it down so you know that okay anatomy i have 10 topics it's a backlog physiology i have two topics biochemistry i have one pathology i have six like that you will know so once the topics are ready then make sure you can complete that by april 10th should i go to rr videos or the main videos i would say if it's a big and a very important topic and important concept go back to the main videos if something is very tiny go back to the rr videos because it's not right for us at this point of time to go back to the main videos keep it for very rare and very important topics where you feel the basic fundamentals is lacking go for that otherwise stick to rr videos right first thing write down the topics in all the 19 subjects important don't leave anything it's not a qualifying exam it's a competitive exam we are going to compete no stones unturned right so all the 19 subjects and make sure you fin finish that by april 10th put a full energy 6 7 8 hours per day solid reading is important So once that is done what do we do for sources of solving questions practice is very very important practice makes any man perfect right obviously here also I require practice i need to solve every day mcq a minimum 20 30 mcq is must for me to solve it without that please don't even think of acing the exam must minimum 20 30 questions per day and see the solutions see where you make the mistake and write out in the mistake book that's important right so what do we do should i go for the main q bank with 10000 plus questions at this point of time or should i focus more on pyqs and pyts right obviously the answer is straight forward i'm going with pyqs and pyts only so how do i get questions on previous year topics that's where your sunkalp rr q bank comes into play first of the kind 
where we have a Q bank dedicated for the NEET PG aspirants, INICT aspirants, based only on the previous year topics and very, very high yielding Q bank. Please don't miss that. That's very, very important. I'm reiterating it again and again and again, right? And PYQs. So for PYQs, I want you to go with NEET PG of four papers, INICT of at least three sessions, there are six papers. And also, please, I also want you to include FMG PYQs of at least two papers. I'll tell you why. For the past two sessions of FMG, the standard of questions is really amazing because it's by the same organization of NB, right? So please include that also in your preparation. INICT of six papers, three, uh, three years and six papers, and need PGA four years. This is must to do. Once you've completed that, if you have enough time, maybe go a year back. Five years, four years, and three years, right? That's how it is. But this is bare minimum. And the RR Cuban, like I said, is again the bare minimum. This in total will easily give you three to 4,000 questions. More than enough. Practice every day. Doesn't mean that I'm reading pathology here, today I have to study only pathology QBank. No, anything, practice. This is not to make sure that you ace the exam, this is to make sure practicing and solving MCQs comes from a spinal level and you not think about it. That takes time and effort. Please do it for the next three months. You will definitely be in a very solid position to ace the exam, that's first. Now, so what do we do? I've done this practice. Should I give GTs? And if so, how many? It's a very concerning question, right? Because there are multiple people who say that I give GT every two days, I give GT every three days, I give GT once in 15 days. So I would want you to do this till you are completing your entire source. That's till April first week or April 10th approximately. I want to give at least one GT every 15 days. Because I want you to have a little bit of more time to complete your backlog and a little bit be more solid. From April mid to May end, right? I want you to give one GT every day. Sorry, every week, not every day, obviously, right? Every week. And this GT, whenever you're giving, please preferably sit in the laptop, give in front of the laptop without any pauses, without any breaks, let it go through, complete the session and also review the GT, split. See, today, let's say Sunday I'm giving a GT. Sunday I review 20, 30 questions. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So before you come to the next GT, make sure it's reviewed properly. Don't sit in the same Sunday and waste the entire Sunday. You cannot do it. Split it into six days, review the entire paper, and next Sunday, make sure that you apply all the mistakes and improve. That's important. Giving a GT, reviewing it, and applying it and improving it is what is going to give you excellence, not doing five GTs per week. It's not going to help at all. Keep this as a schedule. From April till April 10th, one GT every 15 days, from April to May and every week. So in June month, honestly, I would say, don't go for a GT because June 15th is the exam, two weeks. If some GT goes problem in the June first of a week, you'll be demotivated. That's why I'm saying don't go. But here, practice the Q banks. Practice mini tests, whatever is there in the meta app, go with that. Don't give a big GT so that it won't demotivate you. I'll make sure what to do in the final week very soon. So GT is done. Then how do I revise? Make sure before I an ICET, right? The first revision has to be done. Like I said, backlog is from April 10th till maybe May 15th or so. You have to complete the first revision. That's before I an ICT. Keep this in mind. One revision should be done and INICT is your test, a real lifetime test. If you excel INICT, close the book, go into INI. If not, don't be demotivated. Like I said, it's a real time test. You know what to do and where to focus on. Use that from May middle to June first week or something for the second revision. This revision should be hyper focused. Getting information from whatever I did bad in INC, hyper focus revision for the sec till your June first week. Completed, right? Now it's important what to do in the June second week or 7 to 15, the week before the exam. This is the most crucial part, like I said. If you don't prepare for the war, you're going to fail in the war. The finish line is there. I have to sprint. So, what do I do for that? For this, I want you to prepare from today. You heard me right, I have to prepare from today for the D-Day. Whenever I read any topic, whenever I revise anything, whenever I'm doing a question, whenever I'm making a mistake, I want you to color code it so that in the finish line, it's sorted. Every source should be one. 
medicine only one source not five different source whoever it is it's fine make a notes xerox hard copy handmade notes doesn't matter one note should be there for medicine in that note i want you to make sure like i said i want you to color code let's keep green green are for the important topics important topics pyqs pyts whatever you feel is important the concepts the hardcore concepts mark it in green make sure this green are topics already you are very much thorough in first and second revision should make sure you are ultimately thorough in the hardcore topics most of the questions comes only in the base if your base is strong that's green is strong you can ace the exam right yellow is where you will have few rare pyqs right or a few rarer topics right again or topics where you tend to make a mistake market red is never do red is something like rare syndrome rarely inacd asked a question based on a research article not required leave it very new drug not required leave it make sure green and yellow is sorted so in the last 7 days before the exam take your notes switch off entire social media you I, by the time i i am hope sure you know that your morning or evening shift the seven days i want you to customize yourself for the exam that's what if it's in the morning shift wake up at 6 o'clock 7 o'clock in the morning no mobile nothing no connection from outside friends family is enough read properly if it's in the morning shift give a tiny test in the morning around the 9 10 p am so that you are uh, just making your uh, body ready for the main exam do a stretch of reading sleep by 8 pm again wake up by 6 am sleep by 8 pm it's enough if you're in the afternoon shift you have to get aligned that you are more active in the afternoon if you are in the afternoon shift i hope nb gives away at least a week before the exam i want you to maybe sleep a little bit late 12 pm wake up around 10 am get ready and with your best of your capacity by 1 2 pm that's where approximately afternoon shift is going to be and start solving questions approximately in that time align your body align your mental status according to the exam in the last week no extra new term no revision i'm just going to swipe through greens glomerulonephritis in uh, robins is a green topic right lung cancer is important hemolytic anemia is important right neoplasms is important paraneoplastic syndrome is important skim through it skim through it that's all make sure you do it and i i wish each and every one of you should give the exam to the fullest of fullest of your potential it's not a stressful exam if we plan accordingly right if you are still have any doubts come and put down in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you with the queries see you soon in the next video till then bye bye from dr anjit bye bye